Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And uh, before we get started um, with this, I just want to put out a disclaimer here. This is stuff that I normally don't cover on my channel, and this isn't going to be a normal thing that I do. As a matter of fact, this is actually the first video that I've ever covered on this topic because it's something that I stay away from. Um, and I will probably be using uh, certain uh, words uh, because obviously YouTube is YouTube when it comes to sensitive topics. Um, so with that being said, we're going to get into this right now. So, as you guys know, everyone knows by now, or you should unless you've been, like, like out, like, knocked out for, like, the past eight weeks. Um, we had a defamation trial on television for everybody to see and online, and uh, it was about uh, defamation. And I'm no lawyer, so you're going to have to bear with me here because I'm just going my interpretation of what happened. Um, we had John Depp, and we had uh, Narcissist Amber Heard um, in a uh, court battle, which Johnny Depp, rightfully so, emerged victorious in this case. Because it was clear as day that Narcissist Amber Heard was the um, aggressor in this uh, relationship. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was uh, very, 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 very uh, interesting to see this all come out on, uh, you know, court. Because this is... Uh, Something that we don't typically see. It's very rare. See this stuff be covered. I mean, uh, probably not since probably the OJ thing. I was like five when that happened, so I don't remember it. Uh, but that was actually criminal. Um, but everybody was talking about this in the social media era. So Narcissus Amber Heard lost. Um, and yet, apparently, Warner Brothers has announced... That not only she's still going to be Mira in Aquaman 2, but apparently she is also going to have more time in the movie instead of it being cut down. And all I have to say to, uh, to Warner Brothers, um, what are you thinking? See, this is the problem with Warner Brothers as a company. All right. Every time they try to get two step forwards, they go two step back. All right, Discovery just bought this damn company. And you're going to bring Narcissus Amber Heard back, who is a convicted liar and a convicted aggressor of the case between her and Johnny Depp. And yes, I am using aggressor as a word because I'm not allowed to use uh, the actual word that she is. So, um, hopefully that's good enough. Uh, but anyways. Um, anyways, so... Warner Brothers is keeping her, is keeping her, but yet, a couple of years ago, when Johnny Depp lost the, uh, the, uh, court case, uh, in the UK, which, by the way, Amber Heard did not win that case, the son won that case, Johnny Depp was suing the son, I've seen so many people that covered this topic, I've seen people, like, totally misconstrued this this UK case, okay? Johnny Depp did not lose to Amber Heard in the UK case. He sued the Sun newspaper, and the courts were different over there because they had, 
you know, the laws are different over there. They don't use juries. You know, it's a judge. And a lot of different things were allowed to come in and a lot of other things weren't allowed to come in. Different case, different set of rules, different set of facts. And it's much harder to win defamation on uh, a newspaper because of freedom of the press. Um, so that's historically always been a thing. Um, so I don't know why people are still trying to use this as an argument because Amber did not win that. Okay. Point being though, is when Johnny Depp lost that case. Okay. When he lost that a couple days later, he was forced to resign in the, uh, what's the movie called the fantastic beast three or whatever. Um, now I don't really have any opinion on the Fantastic Beast because I've never been a Harry Potter fan, so I don't really care. <coughs> but he was forced to resign as his role, as uh, that character that he was supposed to play in the Fantastic Beast 3 because he lost that case, right, to the sun. Yet Amber Heard was just essentially convicted as being an aggressor of the relationship between him or between Johnny Depp and uh, Amber Heard. Yet, she has not been fired, but not only she hasn't been fired, she's going to get extended time in the movie. Do you know how hypocritical this is? This just proves what I've been saying for years. If a guy does it, they're fired immediately. But if a female does it, oh, they just get a slap on the wrist. So that's exactly what happened. I see her now on the Today Show. She's being interviewed by the media because the media wants her to, you know, rebound from this. So screw you. 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 You did things so, so bad. To Johnny in his uh in his whole thing in this whole thing you did so many bad things and yet you get uh get to be in a get to be in another film you get to a slap on the wrist no 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 that's not how this go I hope this film I mean I was surprised Aquaman 1 did good um like I said I predicted that film was gonna flop but I'm almost certain because I thought it was going to flop because I just didn't think Aquaman as a character has been taken seriously historically by most people because he's been a meme joke for so many years. But there ain't no way uh, it's going to succeed this time because whatever they did right in the first film, they're doing completely wrong here. They could have easily, they could have easily, um, they could have easily um, CGI'd Amber Heard's uh, with a different actor uh, because I know they already filmed it. But they could have easily CGI'd her or just paid for reshoots with a different actor. That's all they had to do. But no, they choose not to. And this is going to hurt Warner Brothers' brand, brand because not only will this film flop because the fans will not for, uh, let them forget this. This will not boil down. This is not going to go away, okay, in a year or whatever, like uh, Warner Brothers hopes. This is not going to go away. You know, the petition literally has, like, I think the most uh, fan support in years for uh, or record in the change.org uh, website. There's no way uh, this is going away. You know, 5 million uh, fans, okay, this is not going away. And uh, Warner Brothers are going to ruin uh, themselves. I mean, there's another actor that's just as toxic right now that's on Warner Brothers. Uh, uh, but that's another topic for that particular individual <coughs> or film that's coming up. But, um, you know, this is ridiculous. I'm very, very appalled at Warner Brothers' decisions. Uh, especially now, when you think they got new owners involved, you'd think 
Warner Brothers would figure shit out. But apparently not. And also, by the way, uh, just for people, little uh, pro Amber Heard fans that are going to come on this video. She is a convicted liar. She is a convicted aggressor. Okay. Via the courts. So I am within my uh, right to talk about why she should not be in this film. And, um, you know, like I said, I don't really care about these films that everyone talks about, Fantastic Beasts or Aquaman 2, but it is a principle. It is a principle, and I get why people are getting into this. And I really hope Aquaman 2 does fail because, um, you know, Warner Brothers needs, like, I, I seriously don't understand why Warner Brothers are like this. Like, you'd think they would be the last people that would want to do this stuff with all the mistakes that they've made with the films division alone. You would think that Warner Brothers now being owned by Discovery would do this, especially with the testimony from the DC film president who literally said that Amber Heard was not in good chemistry with Jason Momoda, yet you still keep her in. With all this baggage and all this crap, you keep her in. Just ridiculous, guys. Just ridiculous. Like I said, this isn't normally stuff I make, but I'm just sick of hearing it, and I'm sick of, I'm sick of people being rewarded. I don't care if you're a guy or a female. If you do this, these bad things, you do these type of bad things, you need to be fired. You need to be put in your place. Enablers are just going to continue doing this shit. They're going to continue lying. They're going to continue doing this dumb crap until they get their way. And Amber Heard needs to be taught a lesson. And Warner Brothers are not doing it. And that bugs me. You could have hired Amelia Clark. Yes, I know. She was the more popular people that everyone were talking about to being uh, Mira. But you chose to, you know, double down and do this BS. You know, here we go. Uh, Warner Brothers is probably going to be sold off by another owner at this point if you keep doing this dumb shit. Uh, that's all I got to say. Warner Brothers, you need to get your shit together. Because this shit isn't going to stand. The fans are not going to accept this. And you guys need money. And you're going to lose a ton of money because of this decision. So I hope you can eat those words. That's all I got to say. All I got to say on the topic. Hashtag justice for Johnny. Johnny Depp. <laughs> uh, that's all I got to say. I'm out of here. Comment, rate, like, subscribe to my videos. Please subscribe. That's about it, guys. I am the SS Ultimate Goku Maverick. Peace.